Hello. Bye, Seer. Be cursed. In the last part, we got a gem here, and we didn't get a gem here. That summarizes everything important, I believe. Uh, between parts, I did look up the um, hidden achievements. So I'm gonna just do those, and then hopefully we can end by uh, solving that one puzzle. And I'm really gonna hope I understood all of them correctly. Alright, so I need to, like, the first achievement I'm going for is called juggling. Hmm, wait, can you not throw upward? Well, huh. I don't know how many objects I need to have in the air at the same time. Oh yeah, why is it now actually throwing upward? And then it sometimes reverts to just dropping them? Ah! Achievement unlocked. Juggling act. I didn't actually expect the special animation. I did stop hitting the action button during that. And the animation, I think, just kept tossing the chests up in the air. Anyway, now we just need to... ...mash left and right real fast. I actually used the keyboard for that to, uh... ...make it slightly easier. And then I believe I just need to hold the action button for a while for some reason. Alright, I guess... Yeah, letting go retracts the yo-yo. Alright, so that's all the hidden achievements. Did them. Now let's uh, remember how to paradox this. Let's see. Just wondering, can I possibly have a cauldron while I do this? No, because I need to carry this in here. Besides, the Paradox has a cauldron anyway. Let's see, and then to get to the Invalid Zone... We, uh... Put this in here... I am curious about one thing with regards to the Invalidity, so I'm actually gonna leave the fan there. that I can bring it back over here. Alright. So I'm in here. There's an item filter. Okay, the fan doesn't keep working, and I believe I threw it at the peak of my jump, and I still can't grab it here. I was thinking, this item filter is shaped slightly different than the usual invalidity item filter. So I was wondering if you could break it like that, because normally, um, you need to, like, walk horizontally a bit, and then they've got, like, this weird, almost like a T-piece shaped opening, where, uh, you wouldn't be able to throw it right to attach to the wall if I was approaching from the left, because you'd hit the corner of the wall, and you wouldn't be able to throw it left to attach to the wall because there's no wall there. I don't know, I'm wondering if maybe I was just like a pixel off and something like this actually is the solution. I kind of want to try it again. But let's also just re-examine the puzzle, even though I think it's been burned into my mind from spending like 20 minutes in like the simplest looking puzzle ever. Hmm. I guess the other question is... If something is stuck in a wall... Can you grab, like, a cauldron from higher than you can grab a fan? Anyway, yeah, I think I do just want to try this again. We won't be spending our time doing hidden achievements. Actually, what's on the other side of the cauldron? Is there, like, a permanent cauldron? No, it's just a normal one. Wondering if, like, there's maybe something that I need to bring into the Paradox in order to then bring it into the Invalidity. Now, 
Not seeing anything promising around here, though. I think even if I could bring a rock in, that wouldn't immediately solve anything. Because I would still have the problem of how do I get both the key and the rock into the chest on the right. I was looking at the, the rock up on the ledge there, of course. in here? Oh yeah, this room, of course. Oh, uh, let's see. Bringing a jar would be interesting. <laughs> if you can grab a jar from higher than you can grab a fan. Because, yeah, I spent long enough in that puzzle that I'm not really convinced that you can do the whole puzzle with, like, nothing brought in. I think before we get too complicated, let's just keep trying it with the fan. I think a fan is about as tall as a jar. I still can't grab it. I think that's exactly the same height as before. Maybe like a pixel up. Yeah, I don't know. I'm fairly convinced that unless there's like some completely unknown game mechanic that they just want to pull out right at the last moment. I am not solving this puzzle with the only contents of the puzzle. I don't know, if I don't solve it this episode, maybe does anyone want to confirm whether or not it's possible from this state? Because what I'm saying is, I believe the answer is no, this puzzle cannot be solved from this state. Maybe I'll prove myself wrong in a bit, but... It's not looking very likely, based on the last episode. So I'm again gonna restart. I think if I want that cauldron, I actually can do it, can't I? Or no? Because the problem is putting both objects in here. Oh, but wait a minute. If I leave this in here... Cauldrons can allow you... to bring an arbitrary number of things in. So now what? Now I just go in here, bring this, oh yeah, but this item filter will always defeat me, clearly. There are like no walls to try to stick anything onto. So that was fun, but clearly useless. Goodbye, cauldron. I wonder where it would have even gone. Because the backgrounds in Paradoxes are different. But there was definitely no way to ever jump into it. So maybe the answer is, uh, would have just gone to a glitch or something. Or maybe it would have taken me back into the normal puzzle? I don't have that deep lore on cauldron mechanics. Anyway, I think this time let's try to get a jar into the end puzzle. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing 2.0? Okay, 
so I want this on this side. Kind of just start to solve the puzzle. What now, though? I think I want something like this. The jar looks exactly as tall as the fan. But I mean, maybe it's got a different grab hitbox. Nope, can't get that either. I guess... can catch an object before it hits the ground. But there's like, there's no way you're gonna like jump throw, jump up and catch it in time, right? If you could, that would mean every invalidity zone has a broken item filter. Also, if you screw up once, your items just going into the abyss. Experimenting with like throwing it on the way down, so I'm already falling, but of course that means you throw it slightly lower. Yeah, I don't think there's a, even close to enough time for the maneuver I was just thinking of. any other ideas for defeating the item filter, though. And I still feel like I have to defeat the item filter. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to keep running with that assumption, because it could be faulty. Assume I don't have to defeat the item filter. If I enter this chest on its own, I have literally no good actions. If I enter this chest on its own, the rock is clearly confined to this area down here. But I can get a key out. If I bring only a key in here, nothing good happens. We've already played around with that far too much. If I bring this chest in here, I can just get infinite keys into this room. Nothing particularly useful about that. If I bring this chest in here, I can't get it past here. If I could, I would be able to bring either the rock or the key, but not both, into it. So it wouldn't even be useful to defeat that filter of the bringing stuff into this room filter, that is. Hmm. 
Unfortunately, I believe that from this state, I've just listed 100% of the possible actions. Or rather, possible ways to combine objects. I tried a number of funky things last time, like trying to stick an object into the ceiling, trying to stick an object to the very corner, and like grabbing it from the higher ledge. Trying to stick too many objects to the wall so that one maybe doesn't stick properly. Um, number of wacky ideas I didn't really expect to work, but... You know, desperation. Cauldron is definitely taller than other objects. If I could get a cauldron into that puzzle, it could be pretty interesting. Let's see. The paradox itself has a strong enough filter. There's just clearly no way. I guess I haven't completely eliminated the possibility... Oops. Uh... I haven't completely eliminated the possibility that there's an invalidity here. Although... I think... Yeah, there's no green cauldron. Chances are pretty slim. Let's see, in order to trigger an invalidity, I have to enter a cauldron. So I can't have that cauldron in my hands. And I need to have the other cauldron not accessible, so I can't have that cauldron in my hands. So I definitely can't bring either of these cauldrons. Perhaps I could bring a chest? What would bringing this chest do for me? Uh, not a whole lot, I think. Imagine the benefit if even if I could get it past the item filter. I also don't know if you could grab a chest from its top. I think I do have a way to actually get the chest into the invalidity, just not past the item filter necessarily. Um, it again would start with actually trying to solve this paradox. Sort of. Or, I don't know why. But instead of immediately carrying the jar into the chest, like last time I was messing around here with stuff, carry the chest into the jar. Where do I want the fan? It doesn't matter. Chest in jar this time. Alright, so destroy this. Yeah, I can't even grab that. Apparently, only the box part is the hitbox or something.
Technically, I don't think I ever checked that the locked door is real. Not that I think they would pull some sort of illusion thing. But we might as well, since I'm gonna restart the puzzle anyway. Okay. Confirmed that that entire wall is real. Yeah, there's nothing that would be useful to stick in the item filter on its own, in the invalidity, unless you could get it all the way through the filter. Because um, once you go into the invalidity, the only way to leave it is to restart the puzzle or something. There are no green objects whatsoever in the invalidity. So even if I could invalid here, instead of in the paradox, like this green chest wouldn't have any benefit. Oh, I just realized why I had trouble with juggling earlier. It's because I tried holding up on the control pad, which doesn't even work. I have to play this game with the analog stick. Yeah, bringing a key in is just something I can get anyway. There's no chest that's full of water or anything, which would have been interesting. I guess if I could get like this cauldron in, and it still led here, then maybe we'd be talking. Because you would just, in the invalidity, if you could get that cauldron all the way through, somehow past the item filter, you could um, just put both chests in, assuming that they have flooded versions that allow you to at least swim anywhere you can walk to. Um, but yeah, you would just, yeah, put both chests in the water, put the chest with the rock and the key into the other one, and then just swim to get a rock and a key out. Actually, don't, just get the key out. You don't even need the rock. And then you just swim up. I guess maybe the water only goes halfway. Oh wait, if the water only goes halfway though, then how do you get the chest into the water? Now the water would need to go high enough that you don't even need the rock. Unless it's like barely high enough to get to the top. Anyway, that's more of a fantasy scenario where everything magically works and we just have this cauldron. Like, there's not anywhere easier to test, like, what happens if I do get a cauldron into an invalidity, right? Not that I think it's possible on any level that only has two cauldrons. Because you need one to enter and one to not be there. I guess if you get an invalid by having both cauldrons on the same half of the puzzle... Do this. Oh wait, no, that just lets me get this on both halves. This is the same chest, right? Yeah. Do 
So the cauldron's not permanent. Doing this accomplished nothing. Or did it? Uh, well, I think I can invalid directly from here? No. It's a paradox once I leave here. We've already had an object, and we're absolutely certain this paradox item filters airtight. What am I even trying to do at this point? I don't know. Like, I could go back in the invalidity easily. But I've kind of been there already. What am I gonna do that's different? I can't, like, get both green ones on the same side by doing that, because there's the only one. That's, that's the thing about green objects. I was thinking, like, can I use a jar to somehow, like, move this cauldron while I'm on the green background side? And then, like, paradox by entering the green cauldron? But I think even if I can, it wouldn't make any sort of difference at all. I just destroyed a cauldron, didn't I? But I... Alright. Yeah, I have no ideas at this point. Um, I guess I don't know what's close to relevant, so... Probably just upload this unedited. <laughs> or just show getting the hidden achievements and cut everything else. I don't know. Anyway, I can decide that off camera. See ya!